Hi Sagittarius, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you are cross-watching for Sagittarius, the energies could be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Those of you that are looking for the single section or the cross watchers section, there are timestamps located in the description box of the video for you to skip ahead at any time. And thank you guys so much for hitting the like button as it does help support my channel. Spirit, who is uh, Sagittarius thinking about? Who is this person that Sagittarius is currently connecting with? What happened in the recent past, please? Spirit, what happened in the past? So you were overly giving to a situation I'm getting. There, there's some, I don't want to say resentment, but there could be resentment you're holding for someone because you had over, over shared or over gave to a situation, overplayed a situation. I feel like there's some anger there, okay, about giving someone all you had to give and, you know, yeah, look at that, Ten of Wands. I wanted to clarify further. So it's like you really put in a lot of effort and work towards someone here, trying to get something off the ground. A lot of you guys may have even put a lot of effort into your appearance, okay, into your body somehow, but it was like you were putting a lot of work in and then you realized you were really the only one giving, okay, and then the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck, it's like this person, you could never satisfy this person or... You could never get them to pay attention, is what it felt like. I heard those song lyrics, I lived in your chess game and you changed the rules every day. Okay. How does um, Sagittarius see this person? Spirit, how does Sagittarius see this person? Eight of, okay. You can see them as focused on work. Okay, some of you guys just see them ignoring the issue with you and focused on everything else. Specifically, somebody could do something with their hands or they could be uh, a craftsman of some kind, okay? Um, mechanic, but that, that's really specific. Um, but I am getting you just see this person as working on everything else but the issue with you. Like putting, yeah, you feel the moon. You know, that moon can be like, you could feel delusional or you could feel there, there's some, there's some fears here that you have. Okay. I feel like you guys are fearing that you're not seeing something correctly. Okay, you guys feel like there's something hidden here. You guys feel like there's more going on. We have the world. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. We also have Aries. And Sagittarius. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius or Pisces. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. This person could be away a lot, or there's just a lot of distance between you two. How does uh, this per how does this person see Sagittarius spirit? How do they how do they see Sagittarius? Well, the Empress. They want you, okay. This person sees you as lovely, beautiful, handsome, okay, just attractive in general. Uh, they have romantic feelings for you. How do they feel? They see you as someone they want to be with, Sagittarius. I just saw the King of Swords. I feel like this person, Sagittarius, has a hard time showing emotion. I feel like, you know, they were taught to not show emotion. How do they feel? Four of Wands. They feel that deep connection with you. This, this, it feels very divine, okay, to this person. Whether they use that term or not, this this energy really feels deep to them. 
And this is an energy of them wanting to reconcile with you, Sagittarius. Okay, wanting to get back together or just recon reconcile differences. But again, this is someone that you feel as if you were giving way more than you were getting. What you don't know at the bottom of the deck, the tower, that this person is going through a tower moment. They're having an epiphany here. Five of Pentacles, they recognize your absence. Like this person knows what they've lost, okay, or knows what they will lose if they ever lose you. Uh, what do they want from Sagittarius? They recognize the neglect, okay, and it's like them seeing you as the Empress and feeling the Four of Wands. They know you deserve better than the way they treated you, Sagittarius. So what do they want from Sagittarius, please? Taurus energy. Guys, this put They want a relationship. They want to be with you. They want to claim you. Uh, King of Cups, they want to tell you how they feel. I feel like they're wanting to have a conversation here. So let's see, what do they like about Sagittarius? What do they like about Sagittarius? Uh, the way you communicated in the past, okay? Your ability to get what you want, okay, on certain things. You could have resources. Um, let's see. Some of you guys, they like that you have resources here. I'm not quite sure what kind of resources you have. We have Virgo energy, Scorpio energy. You take some kind of worry away from them, guys. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords. They like how you kind of take away their worries with the Magician, the Death card. You kind of put an end to the anxiety they feel in life, okay? Uh, what's their next actions towards Sagittarius? What are their next actions towards Sagittarius? Knight of Pentacles. I see this person putting in more effort, okay? Um, but it's it's very slow moving, uh, but there's going to be a reconciliation that they act upon, but... It's very slow with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, they're slowly coming toward you to resolve this issue. Okay, what is taking so long? Eight of Swords. They're holding themselves back. This person might have um, Six of Swords, Eight of Swords. So this person had, you know, they do put themselves in a mental cage, okay? This person feels like they have um, some unfinished business elsewhere to take care of before you two can reconcile is what I'm getting. Or this is somebody here, if it's a location problem and this is long distance, like somebody here, those are the unresolved, or those are the, un that's the unfinished business they have if they live in another area. For a group of you, there could be a third party here. But whatever the unfinished business is, it's going to be, the specifics will be different to all of you, but it's almost like they're going this slow because of their own insecurities on something. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. So definitely indicating a possible third party that they're wanting to get out of with the six of swords, but feeling like they really don't have much Feeling like they can't get out fast enough. Feeling like they don't really have control over the situation they're in, but that's why it's slow moving because they feel like they need to take their time. Let's see what their hidden truth is, Sagittarius. That they miss seeing you. So they're missing you. 
bottom of the deck, they want to tell you how they feel. Okay? They want to tell you. Signs you could be dealing with, I have Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Strong Taurus is here. Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Could be any signs, okay? These are general. Um, those are just the main signs that I've seen in the reading. So we're going to skip to the singles portion. We're going to see who's coming in for you singles. Who's coming towards the singles, okay? Let's see, who is coming towards single Sagittarius? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. There's a breakthrough happening in communication. So this is somebody that wants to put in effort. Sagittarius could be an earth sign or an air sign, but I do see communication coming in. This person's hesitant though. Let's see what is coming towards Sagittarius. Queen of Wands, a glow up. Okay, I see you guys having a glow up or just really feeling on top of your game here in the future, feeling really good about yourself, looking really good, liking the way you look, especially is what I'm getting, but there could be some, like, I just see extra energy, positive energy that's coming in for you. Let's see. We have Aquarius. So the person coming in Sagittarius is their, you know, career focused here. I feel like this is somebody who wants to have something solid and stable to offer a relationship. So that is their main focus right now. But I do see this is headed towards love. The Queen of Cups. This is uh, unconditional love. I, I feel like that's where it's headed. Now, this is the kind of person that will do whatever it takes to... I'm going to clarify that, but it's, you know, to have a strong savings account, a bank account. Like this is somebody here. You really like this person. Okay. You're going to feel a deep connection with this person. I will say you and this person both equally desire your own personal freedoms, which is healthy. Seven of swords. Um, so guys, there may be something odd that this person does for a living. Okay. Like, this person could be a salesman of some kind. You know, I feel like you should definitely ask somebody what it is they do for work when you meet this person. And, you know, don't be overly cautious, but I do feel like, you know, if you're meeting someone you don't know, you should definitely inform some people where you're going to be and what time you're going to be there. You don't have to be overly cautious or paranoid, but... But somebody here is definitely, I'm just getting someone's very sneaky with what they do for work. And so they could be like someone who works in stocks, you know, a job that's almost like it's borderline scam guys is what I'm getting. I, Somebody may be a scam artist here, okay? Um, it could be legal. Let's see, is it legal? Three of Wands. Justice card in reverse at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to say no. I don't think somebody is an honest... So what I'm getting is there's someone who comes towards you that really likes you, but they might do something that is illegal for extra income. And this could have to do with travel of some kind. I'm getting travel. But guys, I'd watch out for this. Okay? Because there's there's something that this person's doing that's illegal. And I wouldn't want you to get involved. Okay? Because um, this is somebody that will do whatever it takes to make a buck. They'll do whatever 
It doesn't matter who they step on, King of Pentacles. It doesn't matter what, who they hurt, Five of Swords. They will literally go to the ends of the earth to make a buck, okay? So um, somebody here could just be really sneaky and shady with their money. But I am getting, uh, for a large portion of you guys, this message is like somebody does something very sneaky, but they really like you. Um, so just use discernment with whoever's coming into your life. And I feel like, you know, before you start falling for this person, because it looks like you may quickly fall for someone, you really need to know what they're doing for a living and what their extracurricular activities are. And I'm not trying to parent anyone. That's just what the cards say. Um, somebody is shady when it comes to money. We have Libra, Aquarius, could be a Leo, okay we're going to do cross watchers. Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, uh, this Aries is held back. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus, uh, they really like you. Okay, this Taurus really wants to come towards you. I actually see this Taurus coming towards you in the future. If you are dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini is unpredictable, okay? Um, I feel like a Gemini here might be keeping their options open, and it's just telling me they're impulsive and unpredictable. If you are dealing with a Cancer, this Cancer has a lot of emotion for you. I'm getting a Cancer is falling in love with you. If you are dealing with a Leo, this Leo wants to turn things around with you. Like, I'm getting a Leo that wants to come back into your life. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo wants to come forward. I'm getting they don't like the distance between you two. Yeah, this Virgo has uh, a lot of emotion for the situation. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra is going to continue being silent for now. I feel like they're just giving you the silent treatment right now. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, this Scorpio has love for you. I'm getting they're in love with you. Okay, if you're dealing with another Sagittarius, uh, they're going through a rebirth right now. They're, they're going through some type of transformation since you two ended. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, oh, this Capricorn loves you. They feel deeply connected to you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius isn't who they say they are. Okay, it's a third party. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces is focused on work. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Um, this Pisces is just focused on work right now, okay? Be careful of any sneaky Pisces that enter your life. By the way, okay, I just saw the Seven of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Um, be cautious of anyone with a strong Pisces placement that comes in and be cautious of what it is they do for work. But I just feel like this Pisces is shady in general. All right, guys, those are your messages. I hope you got some clarity out of this. If the messages did not resonate with you this time, check your other signs or check back next time. And thank you guys so much for hitting that like button as it does help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.